Hi, howdy. My name is Black Surfo, and today's video I will talking about Jurassic World Chaos Theory. So recently I watched Jurassic World Chaos Theory. It is the sequel to Camp Cretaceous. You know I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park and World, and I've always wanted to watch their animated series, but I didn't enjoy Camp Cretaceous as much, even though the first season was fantastic. The second to third seasons were good, and the fourth to final season was the weakest. When the first trailer for Caster re released, um, I thought it would be uh, as bad as Camp Cretaceous, but yeah, I did find um, minor errors in the trailer, and yeah, I will discuss this uh, later. So, in Chaos Theory, uh, the story continues with the same characters from Camp Cretaceous who have all grown up and live separately across the United States. Um, dinosaurs are now roaming all over the world, forcing them to live and adapt to modern life. Six years after they uh, survived the Jurassic World incident and returned to normal life, and their lives now are in greater danger. Uh, ben Pincus, one of the group members, uh, warned the others that they are uh, were not safe. Someone wanted uh, them dead. Um, unfortunately, the trailer uh, reveals that one of them, Brooklyn, is presumed dead. To stay safe, the group must reunite and figure out who is behind this. This series animation far exceeds that of Camp Cretaceous. I see improvement in terms of smoothness and fluidity. It also matches um, the theme of being darker and scarier, so it was mostly set at night and dawn. It also visits a variety of locations. Um, beginning with the woods, then the arid region, and followed by the city. All locations are uh, appear rich and well textured, far better to Camp Cretaceous. The character design appears good, but I'm not a fan of it. Something feels off to me, possibly due to the 3D design, but it can be improved. I don't really like how they design their faces. Perhaps some policing will be nice. It's about 97% good with a little bit a uh, little bit of improvement, but I must admit the design is better to Camp Cretaceous. I recall that the design of the uh, grown-up version at the end of the series looked terrible. Good thing they fix it in Chaos Theory. They also brought back the voice actors but Brooklyn and Kenji uh, have been replaced by new voice actors Kirsten Kelly and Darren Barnett. All of the voice actors did an excellent job but what I don't like is um, that they keep Ben's voice the same. Uh, I think he should sound a little deeper instead of like a kid, like Darius, even with the same voice actors, he sounds deeper because all of the characters have grown older, but I suppose that's alright, because it doesn't really ruin the series. Let's not forget about Jurassic World's dinosaurs. In this series, we also see more dinosaurs and new dinosaurs introduced as well as more of them on the mainland where they now coexist with human. Another improvement uh, is that they feature well textured and rendered dinosaurs. So Chaos Theory is an upgrade version of Camp Cretaceous. This series is aimed for children, yet it is darker and scarier with plenty of excitement and mysteries to solve. It's about 
friendship, relationship, and not just dinosaurs. It's all well written with no rushing or forcing. Season 1 is just beginning and I hope the next season is better. Overall, it exceeds my expectations. At first, I thought it would be awful, but I was wrong. Oh, maybe I should not judge books by their covers. I highly recommend it watching this series because I approve of it. Now I'm excited for the upcoming season. I give this first season 8 out of 10. So what do you guys think of that? Um, I really enjoy this uh, story and I hope uh, if you have watched it you uh, will agree with me. So let me know what you thought in the comment below and I will see you another time. Auf Wiedersehen.